Alrighty, good afternoon everybody. My name is Thomas J. Barkowski. I'm the athletic trainer at Kankakee High School and today I've decided to take you with me for a day in the life of a solo high school athletic trainer in Illinois. Okay, so uh, first off, it's 1.15 p.m. I just got to the school. I grabbed the golf cart. I got my splint, my crutches, my little mobile table, and my kit here. Uh, I left it all in the golf cart yesterday. We had a baseball game, got out of here about seven o'clock, left everything on the cart, put it in the garage, the parking garage, and uh, went home. So what can we expect today? Well, school gets out about 1.30, and uh, people are gonna start needing help and care uh, probably starting about 2 o'clock. Uh, we have a soccer game at 4.30. We have a baseball game at 4.30. And yesterday was a girls track meet. So I'm sure there's lots of uh, track athletes that would like to see me for some care today. Probably a good amount of uh, MTSS, some patellar, um, tendon pain, probably some general ankle pain, maybe some plantar uh, fascia issues. There's definitely some uh some boys on the track team that have those types of issues so i'm just going to set up here on the football field for soccer put out my treatment table my med kit my splints and my crutches this will be my area if anybody needs rehab today or you know maintenance care or just general education and then i'll have to go get the coolers uh, get the ice chest bring them up to the school the ice machines inside my office inside the main gym get a bunch of ice put an ice out for soccer put an ice out for baseball uh softball's on the road today and they want ice so i gotta make them an ice so i need three three total chests uh full of ice full of bags grab a couple sleeves of cups we'll need five coolers one cooler for softball on the road two coolers for baseball one for us one for the away team two coolers for soccer one for us one for the away team uh, i'll get all that stuff filled up get it out um, and then patients will probably come in about 45 minutes 45 minutes to an hour from now maybe we'll try to get a quick workout in maybe a couple deadlifts uh, if we have the time see some coaches do some updates see the strength coach do some, do some updates see some random kids in the hallway ask them how their body feel and see how they're doing so part one many more to come see you soon All right, we got two of our coolers. We got one ice chest. We got to go to storage and get the rest of the coolers, the rest of the ice chest, put everything out. And always remember, talk to your athletic secretary. This is D-Ray. Talk to D-Ray every single day. She keeps me up to date with all the sports going on, cancellations, reschedules, where we're at, when we're playing, what time we're playing, who we're playing, what's going on. Oh, hey, Desiree, I also need to, I need to do that injury report. Got to do an injury report. Yeah, I got I'll be back in a little bit once I get the rest of the coolers. Uh, and then we'll be back. Unfortunately, it looks like uh, Coach Brown, our strength and conditioning coach, isn't here today, so maybe no deadlifts. All right, we got three more coolers in our ice chest out of storage. We had to find Mr. Security Man right there. Super awesome opening the door for us because everything around here is locked. Now we got to fill these bad boys up with ice and water and get them out to the fields and get one to softball for the road. Unfortunately, you got to deal with what you got. Got to fill up the coolers inside the culinary arts room because they won't turn the water on outside the football field where I normally would fill this stuff because they're afraid of it getting cold and messing up the pipes. Water to be on next week. Alrighty, it's currently 2 p.m. Got all the waters filled. Got a bunch on the back here. Couldn't fit the ice on here, so we're gonna have to make two trips. Got the softball, water, and ice by the door for the bus for softball. Uh, got two coolers for baseball, two coolers for soccer. We both, they're both home here today. Track and field should be starting at about three. Uh, football's looking for their coaches, do their conditioning at two o'clock. I saw like eight kids in the hallway, just did little quick brief updates. Um, a couple of them wanted tape, one of them wanted me to look at a knee, I told them to see me 3, 3 at the football field where all my stuff is. Uh, so I'm just gonna put everything out and then we're gonna get through those patients. And then we'll have a soccer game, a varsity girls soccer game and a varsity baseball game. It's 
it's three o'clock. Uh, football's on the field doing a little bit of conditioning. Uh, girls track had a meet yesterday, so they just have a light recovery session. Boys track have a meet Saturday, so, th so they're just doing a, a light workout, get some blood pumping, um, you know, just trying to recover and stay healthy and make sure they're ready. We've had 14 uh, patient visits today. We got everything set up. Softball's on the road, junior varsity baseball's on the road. Uh, a couple of the junior varsity kids asked for some tape. Softball player asked for a tape. Uh, baseball kids got a little things here and there. Uh, no one from football, I don't believe, has asked for anything. I'm surprised that uh, nobody from track for the girls' track has come over yet for any type of rehab or services. But I imagine they will once they're done with their recovery. And then uh, girls' soccer is at 4.30, and there's a few of them I need to take care of before the game and get them ready. And uh, I'm probably a baseball player too. We'll come over here before 4.30 to get ready. But they're just hitting balls back there. They got the music going. Everybody's having some fun. 65-ish degrees today. Uh, unfortunately, they haven't turned the water on outside at the football stadium. They said they're gonna do that next week because they're afraid it's gonna get cold and the cold will mess up the pipes. So we have to get all the water from the inside and the ice from the inside. They took our ice thing out here away. Uh, but luckily we have this golf cart and now we just get to watch some practices and watch some games and live the dream. Just after seven o'clock, it's uh, almost 7.10. I'm outside of Aldi, pretty close to the schools. I'm gonna pick up some snacks or ride home uh, because I live 55 miles away. So we got an hour ride home, but we need to get some snacks. Overall, we had 31 patient visits today. And um, we, put, we put in some work, got some steps in today. But hey, thanks for coming with me. Have a great night.